Okay, John, um, I've just done a mock up of the uh, starter Bendix and starter drive and stuff. It looks a bit crappy, but I'm just getting distances and lengths and dimensions, etc. As you can see there, there's the uh, Bendix drive on the starter itself. Okay. Some wiring. There's my 150 amp controller. I've got a four cell battery hanging off it at the moment and a servo tester just for a throttle. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll arm up the. Oh, by the way, there's the afterburner switch just there. It's just a momentary switch. So that works nicely. As you can see, it, the light comes on. When I push it, obviously it's not armed yet because we've got no P2 pressure. But uh, I'll just flick the oil pressure switch. And you can hear the oil pump running. And what I'll do now is just arm um, my controller, which we've got here. See so it spins nice and freely. Okay, now. When I turn my throttle, You'll see the system spin up. It's nice and smooth. And the full noise she does about 10,000 RPM, so that should be plenty to get a, a light off happening. As you can see there, it backs off nicely and spins down nice and free. I'll just do that once more. Okay. And it works just as I'd hoped. All works pretty good. And uh, just down here is that little laser tacker that I was telling you about. And it's nothing special. And I'm just going to mount that in the side and point it straight at the, the compressor. And that's pretty much it. That noise you can hear there is just the fan on the controller happening. I'll just switch that off. And that's pretty much it. So. Uh, I think she'll be pretty successful. I'll just make up a proper mount for it and we should be good to go. Cheers.